Hey guys, Mo Long here, and I'm going to take a look at running Ubuntu on the Raspberry Pi. You'll notice that there are a few different options here. So for the Pi 2, there's an Ubuntu 18.04 LTS 32-bit variant, as well as a 19.10 32-bit installer. For the Pi 3, as well as the Pi 4, you'll have 64-bit and 32-bit options for both. Especially if you're running a Pi 4, I strongly recommend going with a 64-bit operating system. Because with the 2 or 4 gig RAM variants, you're going to see a major performance boost. The Pi 3, I still think it's a good idea to stick to 64-bit, but since it doesn't have more than one gig of RAM, you won't really see as much performance gain from it. So I'm using the Pi 4, and I'm going to go ahead and get that 1910 64-bit installer. So go ahead and wait for that image.xz file to download. I've downloaded my image, so now what I'm going to have to do is mount that to a micro SD card, and I'm going to use Etcher to do that. First up, select your image. Make sure that you've got your micro SD card selected and now go ahead and hit flash. Wait for that image to finish mounting and when you're done, pop it in your Pi and power it up. Here we are in Ubuntu, and it is Ubuntu server, so by default, it is command line only. Although, it's pretty easy to install a desktop environment. I've got an Ethernet cable selected. I've got an Ethernet cable inserted, so I'm already connected to the internet.
And there we go. I'm all logged in. And by default, the username is Ubuntu and the password's Ubuntu. So you will be prompted to change your password when you first log in. But you can see we've got command line access. And since I'm connected to the internet, I can go ahead and perform any number of functions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just run a quick update. Next up, I do want to install an Ubuntu desktop. So there are a few different ways that you can accomplish that. And that really all just depends on which desktop Here we are in Ubuntu, and it is Ubuntu server, so by default, it is command line only. Although, it's pretty easy to install a desktop environment. I've got an Ethernet cable selected. I've got an Ethernet cable inserted, so I'm already connected to the internet. And there we go. I'm all logged in. And by default, the username is Ubuntu and the password's Ubuntu. So you will be prompted to change your password when you first log in. But you can see we've got command line access. And since I'm connected to the internet, I can go ahead and perform any number of functions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just run a quick update.
Next up, I do want to install an Ubuntu desktop. So there are a few different ways that you can accomplish that. And that really all just depends on which desktop environment that you want to use. I just want to use the default GNOME desktop environment. So we're just going to type in sudo apt-get install Ubuntu desktop. And here we are with Ubuntu Desktop installed. One of the things that I really love about Ubuntu is just how easy it is to install software. And here we can just fire up the software and we can install stuff like Plex Media Server. We can install GIMP, Chromium, Telegram Desktop, and a lot of other different applications. Everyday use, like browsing the web, writing in a Word document, or even using something like WordPress, is just really seamless on the Pi 4. And Ubuntu is a fantastic desktop distro. In fact, I think it's probably right now my favorite Raspberry Pi desktop operating system, right up there with Ubuntu Mate and Raspbian too. If you're going to use the Pi 4 as a desktop, I highly re recommend checking out Ubuntu because it just works incredibly well and there's great documentation. It, even installing stuff like Plex Media Server is really easy with Ubuntu on the Pi 4. And what I've found with the Pi 4 is that it can tackle a lot of more intensive tasks, even like being a media server, way better than the Pi 3 or the Pi 3B+. Plus. So there you have it. This is Ubuntu on the Pi 4. And performance is pretty solid, although I expect it to get even better just as a lot of optimizations are made for the Pi 4. Thanks for watching.